let's talk FL Studio versus Cakewalk. If you've been keeping up with this channel, you'll know we have compared FL Studio to so many other DAWs. So while this will be a comparison video, I'm going to try to focus more on the Cakewalk side of things. FL Studio goes about creating music through the use of Windows and a crazy beat creation tool known as the Channel Rack, which is a step sequencer and it gives you the ability to compose full loops or songs without even touching the playlist. FL Studio has hands down one of the best piano rolls, allowing you to set the key, have ghost notes, strum, chop and more. It's a great DAW to start with and use full time. However, if it's not your first DAW and you're more used to an Ableton or a Logic, then FL Studio is going to feel extremely chaotic and perhaps odd. I've spent a bit of time with Cubase, Pro Tools and Ableton and those three doors are way more alike than FL Studio. Okay, now we can get into Cakewalk by BandLab, also known as the legacy version of Cakewalk. This is a free DAW that I wish I knew about when I started out because this is a fully functional DAW. There is no other free DAW that can compete with Cakewalk. Cakewalk follows the linear format of non-FL DAWs, which means routing and busing isn't a weird mess. This may be free and called a legacy version, but it receives regular updates. What's the catch, you may ask? There is no catch. It's only free to BandLab users, so you have to make a BandLab account. If you consider that a catch, I don't. If you think about it, to buy FL Studio, you need an ImageLine account. And the same can be said with Avid, Presonus and Steinberg's offerings. And when you're done signing up, you still have to pay for said DAW. Here you are getting a fully functional free DAW. I love the FL playlist. However, one place where Cakewalk is better with it's the comping. Comping your takes is a breeze in Cakewalk. Furthermore, Cakewalk has Melodyne integration. So Studio One and Cakewalk, this free DAW, have the best pitch correction software integrated with them. I know I keep hounding on this free thing and I'm really sorry about that, but I, I can't comprehend how this is possible. This DAW is the full package. However, maybe one thing to keep in mind is that Sonar will stop releasing updates for Cakewalk by BandLab as they are releasing Cakewalk by Sonar and Cakewalk Next. The only real negative I can talk about is it's a Windows only DAW and there are no real instrument plugins to talk about here. However, you got the DAW for free, you can get some great free plugins like Vital, Complete Start, Labs, the Tyrell N6, Volts, or Odin 2, or invest in some paid plugins. In my opinion, FL Studio Producer Edition and Up is a better full package than Cakewalk by BandLab. However, at the price point of a zero dollars and you gave me the two hundred dollars that the producer edition costs to get VSTs, I don't doubt I could make an equally as well rounded package minus some features like stem separation. That's a testament to how functional Cakewalk by BandLab is and Sonar needs to really be on top of their game with their new DAW to match the magnificence that is the legacy version of Cakewalk. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. It's most appreciated. Consider hitting a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and furthermore, have a great day.